Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today's Saturday, October 10th, 2020. Where do we go from here? We are seven months into this coronavirus pandemic. I don't know about anybody else, but I am absolutely tired of this pandemic. I'm tired of the politics. I am so tired of the incompetence from our federal government in terms of a plan to eradicate this pandemic. I am tired of hearing comparisons to other pandemics. This is not the flu pandemic. This is not the swine flu pandemic. Flu rules do not apply here. This is not Ebola. This is not HIV. It's not even the other SARS viruses. I am tired of seeing the increases in cases and deaths. Compared to a week ago, we are up 330,000 more people with COVID-19 and more than 5,000 people have died from a week ago. What is the definition of insanity? It's doing the same thing over and over, right? I'm tired of knowing that we can do better and that this current state doesn't have to be. Now, I recognize that we cannot start over. There's no turning back the clock, but we can start from here and we can start with what we know. So in simple terms, this is a novel virus. It means that it's new to human beings because it's a new human virus, uh, we don't have uh, any immunity. So in terms of the world's seven plus billion people, we're all susceptible. We have no herd immunity. We know this virus can affect people differently. Some do well, some die, some die very quickly. We know that this virus, because we've seen it, is capable of shutting down entire countries and it has impacted the world's economy in a negative way. Now, the good thing is that we know more about this virus than we knew seven months ago at the start of the pandemic. But as of today, just like seven months ago, we don't have a vaccine and we don't have a cure and we don't really have medications that are designed specifically to treat this coronavirus. We know that this virus is extremely contagious. We know that it is contagious before people even know they have it. And we don't really know how long infected people remain contagious. We know that the virus infects people at all ages, even the unborn, and that men are more likely to die than women. We know that healthy children get infected and they can transmit it to their parents and their grandparents. Although children may not get as sick as their parents and their grandparents, but we know that some children and teens get very ill and some have died. We know that it looks like you can seemingly recover from this virus and then all of a sudden take a dramatic turn for the worse. We know how to prevent transmission while we are still learning how to treat this virus. We know that we can't shake hands. We know that we're not supposed to hug, kiss, sing, or talk loudly without a mask on. We know that we have to stay more than six feet away from the nearest person outside our bubble at all times. We know that we need to wear a mask so as to keep this deadly virus from infecting us through our noses and our mouths. We know not to touch our face. We know to wash our hands for 20 seconds several times a day. We know that we have to watch the high touch services. We know that we should avoid going to large gatherings where people are congregated, bars, sitting inside a restaurant and doing anything indoors that requires removing our mask. We know that we have to open up our windows and meet outside whenever possible. And many companies have adopted work from home for uh, 
types of jobs that are amenable to it. Now, we know that the most basic function of a government is to keep its people safe. But in this pandemic, so far, our government hasn't done a great job at this. So folks, if our government won't help us, we have to do it ourselves. People, it's up to us, plain and simple. We just might have to solve this one ourselves. And here's my suggestion. We know that this virus looks at every human being as food for its replication. In other words, you and I are its meal ticket. It doesn't care about anything else but its replication. You and I are essential for it to survive. So here's this idea. Let's starve this coronavirus. That's it. I said it. Let's quit being its meal ticket. It's time for a global pandemic diet for this SARS-CoV-2 virus. If the virus doesn't get another host, it dies. Let's kill it. Let's stomp out this virus right here and right now. Folks, stay home if you're sick. Get tested if you think you have this virus. Know the symptoms of COVID-19. If someone in your household has COVID, everybody should be in quarantine for 14 days. Don't pay any attention to the president. Stay in quarantine for 14 days. We stay in so the virus can't get out. If it doesn't infect anybody else, it dies. If we all wear a mask and stay physically distant and wash our hands, we might could stop feeding the virus its next lunch, its next meal. And maybe, just maybe, in the next couple months, we could get this pandemic under control. I am tired of this pandemic. It's gone on way too long. I think we can do a better job at managing the pandemic. We have proof that it can be done. There are other countries that are doing this so much better than we are. Now that doesn't eradicate the virus. We will not eradicate this virus until everybody is immunized and no longer susceptible but we can do better at controlling this pandemic. Let's put this COVID-19 virus on a diet. Are you willing? Well, then let's go. This is Dr. Rhonda Johnson. My views are my own. Stay safe, stay connected, stay alive, and practice the four W's. Wash your hands, watch your distance, wear a mask, and open up those windows and have a blessed day.